All right, my friends, so today we're doing something a little different. Uh, I went out the other day when I was in New York on our trip, and I went to, because I had to, because I'd never been there before, B&H Photo. Now, I've bought a lot of stuff from them online, but I'd never been to their store, and if you are ever in New York, you have to go. It's something to see without question. Anyway, for those of you that know my setup, here is a 2019 MacBook Pro, and I edit primarily off of an external. There's a T5 Samsung portable SSD, and um, it works pretty good, but I do think it could be a bit faster. So what I bought, what I bought when I was down there was a second one. And we're gonna raid these. We're gonna put these in a striped raid zero. Striped, stripped, I don't know, whatever. Raid zero, so that we get double the speed. So we're gonna set that up right now. All right, so here's my computer. And like I said before, primarily here it is here, my Samsung T5. You can see I have my Final Cut file in here, but uh, this is gonna get erased because you have to. And uh, I've moved this file to a standard hard drive just so I can move it back after, so not a big deal. We can actually come here and delete this. Gonzo. Uh, what I'm going to do first before we do this is we're going to go here and do a speed test on this drive real quick so you can see if I get any kind of improvement. So we'll just select the target and we will go to the Samsung drive. Cool. Start. What do I get? So my write speeds are about 426. So not fantastic, but all right. My read speeds are coming in about the same. So 400-ish, somewhere in that range, 400, 400, okay. So that's what I'm getting off this drive. So let's stop that. And we're gonna open this up real quick and set up a RAID to see if we can get this drive acting even closer to internal SSD speed by running two of them at the same time. All right, we're here. So both of these plugged in and you'll see two Samsung T5 sitting up there. Okay. So both empty, both ready to go, both sitting right here, nice and pretty. Let's see if we can make these into a single terabyte, shall we? So we're gonna go into disk utility. So nice and simple, I'm gonna bring up Spotlight. So disk utility, there it is. So you can do this through a Spotlight search, which is what I did, or in your utilities folder, you should find it as well. So I'm gonna open this up, and nice and simple, here's my internal, here's my two Samsung SSDs. We're just gonna go up to File and go to RAID Assist. So inside here, you'll see the three different kinds. Now, depending on what you're doing, uh, I want this for speed. If you wanted it for, let's say, being able to back one up, so if one of your drive fails, you may wanna put this into something like a mirrored RAID 1 so that you get it to always copy the files completely to both drives. I'm gonna actually have the file split onto two drives, so that will be used to increase the speed. So speed is most important for me. This is not a you know, backup style scenario. This is strictly gonna be for me doing videos, and uh, speed is most important. So I'm gonna to go to a striped RAID 0. So next, it says, which drives are we doing this with? So I'm doing it with these two. There they are, shows you how big they are. If you have a whole bunch plugged in, it'll actually show you all the drives that are compatible with doing this. So, you know, you can pick more if you want to increase your speed, especially if you were running like standard drives, like non SSDs, and you want to increase their speed because those drives are quite a bit slower. You may want to plug in a couple and get those going. So just realize that if one of those drives fail, then everything gets lost. So if one of these Samsungs fail, I lose the data off both drives, okay? Because none of the files are complete. So you have to kind of be aware of that. All right, next, right? Name, I'm gonna call this uh, SSD RAID. So I remember now I get a capacity of one terabyte. Everything looks good. We hit next. Creating, yep. 
And what should happen once this is done is I'll get a single drive come up on the desktop. There it is. RAID created successfully. SSD RAID. I can close this and I have a single drive. And if I come in here, you'll see its capacity is just shy of a terabyte, 998.53 gigabytes. That's great because it literally what it does is it splits the files and it writes. So half the files kind of go to one drive. As far as I know, one drive, half the files to another, and that's how it moves them quicker. Let's do a speed test, shall we? Now, what we were getting about 400 before. So we'll come up here again. We're going to select the target and we're going to go to my SSD raid right there. Open. Start. And they don't seem to be any faster. That seems strange. I'm going to restart the system. Hold on a second. Okay, so I think I figured out what the problem was. Um, I was going through one of these. So this is a uh, USB-C to USB-3 adapter to SD card to HDMI, etc., etc. Um, and I think that's the bottleneck. So what I did was I actually plugged them both in down here, you can see, to the actual USB-C ports on the side. So one's coming in through this side, one's coming in through this side, right? So both plugged in at the same time, which is what I need. And if I come in here to here's my RAID and I bring up Blackmagic, now when I come into File, and select that RAID and do my speed test. See, I'm getting 942, right? And over a thousand read. That's better. That's better. So, just so you guys know, if you are using some kind of little hub or anything, that could definitely be bottlenecking you. So make sure that you plug them directly into the ports. Now, the other thing to be aware of too, and this may also be causing it, is you notice that I've gone into both sides because a lot of times on computers, the uh, all the ports on the one side, so even if you have two or three USB ports on your right, they're all actually going through the same channel, same thing with the left. So you wanna be able to plug them both in on one on one side, one on the other, because that's gonna help with that port. That could be an issue. Am I, am, I, am I a technician? No. Do I know how this is built? Not really. Do I know that this makes it faster? Yeah. So that seems to be what I'm going with. So um, just kind of be aware. I'm constantly getting, you know, write speeds in around that 800, 900 speed, read speeds coming in over a thousand almost all the time. So I'm gonna stop this here, but you can see, uh, hopefully you guys can see this, down here, I pretty much have everything checked so I can do. The only thing I can't do is 10-bit 4K, 60, and 50. Other than that, I'm rocking and rolling. So that's that's fantastic. All right, my friends, uh, I'm going to leave you guys there. Hopefully this was informative. You kind of see why I wasn't getting the speed, so that could be useful as well if you guys are setting up a raid and also not getting the speed. So just realize, plug them in independently, try some different USB ports if you need to. All right, my friends, I'm going to leave you there. Uh, like, comment, share, and subscribe. And as always, we will talk to you guys in the next video. Later, my friends.